Hello, uh, welcome to another piano lesson with Richard Yang. Uh, today I'm gonna cover a Kuma no Ko uh, from Attack on Titan, the final season part two, ending theme uh, from uh, Animans. Uh, so this is uh, one of the easier arrangements from Animans. And uh, so if you wanna get into Animans, I highly recommend that you can start with this. It's not, it's not too difficult, uh, but it does have the, uh, you know, very cool Animans uh, feel to it. Um, without breaking your arms, okay? So, in the beginning, uh, the you have the melody, right? So it's, it should be very simple. Right? So there should be no question there. Uh, you just need to keep the notes, uh, you know, even, so count. Uh, I recommend counting in eighth, eighth notes instead of quarter notes. Da, 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 da. That's, that makes it more, uh, more, more accurate, okay? Now, uh, and in terms of uh, the tempo, right? Uh, a lot of times, for example, even for me, when I, uh, you know, flip to this page, I want to start playing, I actually don't, you know, without a metronome, well, actually, you should use a metronome, but, you know, let's say I want to perform this piece, I go out, I want to start, I cannot just start because I don't know how fast I need to be. How do you, how do you know? You go to section A and use your left hand to set your pace. Okay, so right. So if you use her, you, you can you know you know what the music sounds like. So you sh you should know how to play this part. So if you have no idea, you just play section A, uh, play play once, and then that will get your you can set your tempo that way. Okay, section A. Uh, section eight. So first of all, there on the repeating notes, there it, it, everything is on your thumb, right? You don't you don't do you don't you don't need to change fingers. So and so that makes it slightly strange, uh, somewhat because so remember you have to really relax your uh, forearm and you know let your wrist do the uh, magic. Right? You need to have that completely relaxed because if you try to. Uh, Focus on the thumb and shoot it like a bullet. That that your your arm will get you will be dead in, a, in you know very very fast right. So relax right. Da, 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 da. right so slowly. slower because it's get kicked a little strange uh, in the middle on my fingering because uh, at the, you know I, my fingering changes that depending on my mood so because this you can use all kinds of fingering like all you want right or, or, no that's weird yeah but you can uh, one four works one three works so whatever works for you uh, one three yeah one four works better for me That's just uh, not feasible, right? So I I have to roll this. Right? Right? So if you can play this, lucky you. Right? Not even not even close. So uh, section B. So, so section B. Uh, as long as you know the fingering, it's uh, it should be very straightforward. Right? So I'm just gonna play play it once.
that's on the note and uh, so there is really uh, not not too much uh, in this uh, section so I'm going on second line on that on a second line on that page right <laughs> slowly here is probably uh, one of the more awkward jumps right? right you're going to jump from here to an octave down right and this is just opposite up and ending with the f sharp with the left hand so if you have a question uh, just a uh, Remember, where, how are they matched? That's it. Section C. So, the first one. Just know the notes. That's it. So, you have a scale up and down. Right? So, here. Uh, fingering first. Uh, you know your... Uh, hopefully, you know your... your, your um, um, uh, B major scale. Easy, right? All right? So now you just need to have more voices other than this. So. It's just a skill coming down as long as you know the fingering the rest is just about practicing right jump so and remember that this C is this that's a good jump so practice that now on fingering again Section. I hope that you find it okay. So uh, again, the skill is just that uh, you just simply practice that slowly and you work up the speed, right? Uh -huh. Okay, it's not very clear. But anyway, yeah, I've been pra practicing on my Yamaha N1X instead of this one. Now, uh, coming this, the keys are now lighter, so it's a uh, the feel is a little different now because the M1X is so heavy, so they play slightly different. Section D. I keep the pedal down for the first two measures, then I change. Da, da, da. Right, so that's how to play that uh, straight time, right? So. Four and five. So hopefully that that's not not too bad. Section E. Uh, section E is the same same melody. So I play play slow. Uh, I need to figure.
figure out what norm, fingering do I normally use. So I'm gonna play it uh, from uh, the uh, here again. Staccato here. So uh, as you can see, this is the same theme as before, except the uh, uh, octave higher, many octaves higher. That's all. Don't rush. D definitely not. Don't rush this. Don't rush this, right? Because again, it'll be uh, fingering might be confusing for some. change from time to time for example sometimes I do this sometimes I do that sometimes I do this so it so I play uh, you know when you know however my finger feels like it uh, there's no fixed fingering for me uh, so for you pick one that uh, you like and if possible make it consistent that might be that might work better uh, but once just know so that you know once you advance to a certain level in piano fingering is no longer uh, too too important because you should be able to play with all kinds of different fingering combination right uh, but as a beginner your your hand is probably only used to a certain fingering right so that that's the difference section uh, F shouldn't be a problem because uh, you don't really have a choice there but uh, uh, just so that you know for example here see the goal is that you play the uh, uh, triplet here halfway right? and here all, all you need to know is that you need to go you need to reach that eventually so timing wise uh, uh, I know uh, it's not you know, it's not rocket science, but you can try to figure out the uh, how fast you need to go, right? So Now section G so section G is a lot of jumps, but they are uh, fairly similar each time and not too bad part for you uh, I think that this is probably the most difficult part of the piece so there is no trick to it play slow now the only tip is that you need to remember what key you're, uh, you know what key you're playing for example right now I'm on I'm playing E on my right hand so go up you're playing E and left hand as well especially with the E And 
so the left hand jump I for me personally I I I don't look at the keys but because I my, my focus on, on is on the right hand so how do you know where to jump to, jump to right when you go there go to the uh, you know close to where you think it should be and feel around you there should be a, a, uh, a B, B flat blocking you to blocking you to go further and that is your B so it's, it's that's the way I do it, right? And feel, feel that when when you are stuck, that's the that's the B you need. And I also, of course, because my I cannot reach tenth, so I'm sharing a lot of uh, finger finger uh, between uh, left and right hand. Next section, section H, we, uh, it's already done, so I'll just play it over. somehow remember that because uh, it's just so that you don't you don't get confused confused are very far and yes they can be intimidating but uh, at least this is not too fast so I'm sure you can do it too section 9 so this is actually different now so um confusing really fast right <laughs> so, and so it's very important that you need to know uh, you need to be able to hear the different melodies in here right? and now you have this right so there are different voices in here um, so ideally you can make them heard somehow right On sixth, uh, some people might find this a little more difficult because you have a lot of uh, you know when does it when does it go sharp when does it not and uh, you know so just uh, play you know there's nothing that you cannot accomplish if you play slow enough. To, uh, spend a lot of time on you need to uh, you know to truly play this uh, um, you know naturally you need to understand uh, that your, your B uh, B major uh, skill really well B, because by knowing that then you would know instinctively what you know when do you have uh, this you know the right hand is tilted down a little bit because it's a white key and then both are level 
and then the left left side sinks in a little bit because it's a white key and this is the same level again so if you play enough you can kind of pick up these kind of details quick uh, so that you can uh, help with your playing but for now all you can do is play that slowly something we might change so uh, just watch carefully that is the, 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 the final fingering that I use hopefully you got that if not slow it down because uh, slow it down watch it again because if I were to play that that you know even slower my fingering will start to change okay so second J I'll change the pedal but I would hold the uh, upper notes because uh, if you see that little tie notation that is uh, just to uh, you need that sound to keep going and change change the pedal by holding this after you play this chord then hold the pedal you can place the other things we change here and change again now here uh, you can do you can play the B on the right hand or left hand if you have if you can do this I can so I play I play this on the right, right hand sheet music uh, we need to let the sound uh, continue on the A and it says to change pedal on this I don't I change the pedal until I play the final B so just uh, FYI When you play these octaves, right? Of course, you can do just one five. But in this case, it is a good practice to use your finger number four here on the black key. Then in that case, you have less movement on your hand. Less is always better, right? And, and that's the end. Uh, so hopefully, uh, this is uh, definitely the, the one of the easier ones. Uh, so take a crack at it, see what happens. If any, there's any question, uh, comment down below, ask me, and I'll do my best to respond. Goodbye.